unequipped infantry fighting vehicles. Some of them are missing turrets and engines, while others have parts of the armored hull. According to military experts, the Federation has about half of the armored vehicles that it had before the start of Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine. They cannot send half of the remaining ones to the front in order to repair one damaged vehicle. Another one has to be dismantled for spare parts. The cannibalization continues to accelerate, but Russia already has very little of certain types of equipment left in the stockpiles. Almost everything suitable for this purpose has already been dismantled for spare parts. In particular, according to calculations, Russia had about 22% of the pre-war number of MTLB's armored fighting vehicles in storage at the beginning of summer. Now their number has dropped to 40 persons of the pre-war stockpile. There are 33 persons left of the armored vehicles at bases compared to before the full-scale invasion of Ukraine. OSINT analyst from a Radio Liberty publication. Satellite images showed that between January and July 2024, the number of armored vehicles at Russian storage bases decreased by 11 percent, and the number of multi-purpose transporter tankers, MTLBs, have decreased by more than half. Only 14 percent of the pre-war stocks remains. Even though the Ministry of Defense is working hard to repair damaged equipment, by 2026 the Federation may be left with no T-80 and T-72 tanks. Of course, Russians still have some stocks of equipment from the 60s, 80s of the last century. But it takes a lot of time to carry out routine maintenance work, the restoration of defense equipment for the Russian army to be able to use it. This requires manpower, resources, time and effort. And of course, the fact that the Russians are wasting their resources may lead to the fact that in 2026 their defense capabilities will actually be exhausted. Now, Putin is looking for any opportunity to get the necessary weapons for the Russian army. For this purpose, Russia is expanding military cooperation with the North Korea and Iran. Russia's reported decision to provide Iran with radar and air defense systems, which could significantly benefit Russian forces on the ground if instead deployed to Ukraine, also underscores Russia's ongoing reliance on Iran for other critical weapons, including high-precision weapons and weapons components, from the report of the Institute for the Study of War. Arms experts, which used to bring considerable income to the Russian budget, are also in trouble. According to a calculation by Stockholm International Peace Research Institute, Russia has lost more than half of its arms experts in 2019-2023 compared to the previous period. The country's largest major military technical exhibition, Army 2023, also ended in failure. The amount of foreign contracts signed by the state expert agency was more than three times lower than before the war. Reported by Anastasia Tarnavska, Yulia Hranovska, UATV News.